talk with Tactical. Today I'm going to talk briefly about my 3D printing setup. So I have two processes right here set up. I'm running from three kilogram spools of plastic. This is PETG we're running right here, but we also run ABS on three kilogram rolls. And you can see I have the mounting set up, which is what I'm going to talk about first. Okay, so this is where I store the filament on the, uh, this is the arm that holds the roll of filament, and you can see it's hung out in front of the printer. So the printer is right here, and I have the full filament out in front of it by, a, by about four inches ahead of the, where it goes into the uh, extruder. And the reason for this is because it doesn't twist the, uh, the hot end or the extruder when it's pulling off of the heavy roll, and I'll show you what I mean up close. Okay, here we are looking sideways at the print head, and if I pull the filament, which is in here, if I pull that filament straight up or slightly backwards, it twists the head. So you can see that, if you can see that head flex there, the head flexes back and forth. Let me bring it to the middle so you can see it more distinctly. There we go. You can see the head's flexing, and that's because it's bending around the, around the two smooth rods. So if I pull the filament backwards, if you can see that, the head's flexing pretty significantly. And when you're pulling off of these heavy rolls, especially if it's new, a full uh, three kilogram roll, it will pull significant force on the extruder. Will the uh, bond tick drivers will put significant force pulling on the cable, I mean on the filament, and that will warp the head up like that, or bend the head up, and that'll affect. That'll put little lines in your print. It'll affect your print uh, quality and the size of your print, which is not good. So the reason I have it at an angle like this is we're pulling straight from the the point of bending. So the, it's bending right about here. This is where it flex is about. So it's flexing about right about here between the two shafts. So we're pulling straight up to the roll of filament at from that point. So what that does is you're pulling like you can think of this. You have a you have a circle. If you have a a uh, if you grab something. If you have a circle, if I pull from it right here, I can rotate it. But if I pull straight from the center, it's not going to rotate it. So in this case, that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling straight from the center, which is where it's rotating from, and the head does not bend at all when we pull from there. So that really helped our print quality. We suffered from that, uh, that problem for quite some time, and mounting the rolls of plastic up in front really helped. So if you're running heavy rolls of plastic and you're having problems with your print settings, you're getting little lines or little uh, ridges on your print, mount your plastic up in front of your printer and that will really help. I got this idea by looking at a couple pictures of the Prusa print farm and sure enough all their plastic is mounted, which are larger rolls, I think two kilogram rolls, all their plastic it's mounted up in front of their printer and I assume this is why and it's really working well. So I'm not using an enclosure right now, I'm printing mostly with PETG, I don't need one and the ABS plastic with the parts I'm printing I haven't been having bad warping problems due to a cold environment. I keep it, like to keep it decently warm in here and the printers warm up the room pretty significantly around the printers so I haven't had a problem with warping. I would like to have some kind of enclosure around here for fume removal when printing ABS because there are uh, fumes produced from printing the plastic which you can smell and they can become unpleasant and they can build up if you do a lot of printing which we do. So if I can't have good ventilation like in the winter time we don't want to have uh, windows open, we don't want to be pulling in too much cold air. I'd like to have an enclosure here so I can pull out just the air around the printers. So in a pro, uh, I'm thinking about an enclosure, but right now we've been doing fine without one printing ABS, NP, TG, as well as, as, well as PLA uh, at times. So you can see I have my small rolls. I have the small one kilogram rolls mounted on the uh, pr printer's original supports. Uh, the reason for that is if I want to do change filaments, for an example, when I'm printing with ABS, I'll do the first layer or two in PETG to get better uh, bed adhesion, which works very nicely, and I'll run a small roll of PETG in the background or of ABS, depending which way I'm doing it, and I can pull off of that. Also, I can do multicolor prints very easily without having to swap plastic around. So I have my primary plastic, the large rolls up above, then I can run my smaller supplemental plastic, like this is carbon fiber right here. I can run that off the back uh, much more easily. The filament store storage is all up above, above the printers. Uh, we like to have a lot of filament in stock. Right now you can see some of it up above and we're going to want to keep this full. So this gives us a lot of room to have filament in stock to handle fluctuations in orders and any problems with availability. So filament storage is important and I've just opted to put it on a shelf up above rather than putting it in a drawer down below since it's open and the dust doesn't really bother it since most of it's in a bag uh, sealed and contained. So then I think that just covers it. It's very basic. I mainly wanted to share with you guys the way I mount the heavy rolls of filament, the three kilogram rolls, 
and how, how that feeds into the printer. That is a really, uh, really helpful. It took us a while to figure out. So that is our printing setup, and I'll hopefully see you again later this week uh, in another one of our videos. Thanks for watching.